Open the C course for connecting with Mitsubishi FX PLC. Press Start Now to begin this course. Here, I have created a simple project with Mitsubishi PLC. Check the connection between the PLC and the computer. If the COM port appears, the wiring has been successfully connected. Here, I'm using COM5 port. Back to GX Work software and check the connection. If the system shows a successful connection, it means the PLC and the computer are connected. Download the program from the computer to the PLC. Go online with the PLC program and monitor the status of the tags. Open Visual Studio software to start programming. I will name the project using the label function. Use this command to install the Dell for connecting FX PLC with C. Paste the command here and press enter to install. Use this command to call the Dell library for connecting PLC with C. Declare a new PLC using this code. This is the form load function of the project. Initialize the connection with the PLC using this command. This is the ID of the computer's COM port. You need to set it accurately with the COM port ID of the cable connecting the PLC to the computer. Here, the computer uses COM port 5. We left other parameters as default. Call the PLC connection function in the form load function with this code. Create a timer to scan tag values every one second. This is the command to read tag values in bool data type.
On the main form, I create labels and text boxes to display tag values. Set up text boxes to read bool tag values. Use this code to display integer tag values. Here, I'm reading integer tag values. Use this code to read floating point tag values. Use this code to read string tag values. Here, I set the length of the string tag to 10 words. Run the runtime and check the results. I will set some values for the tag. Because it's a serial connection, only one device can be connected at a time. So, I have to go offline with the PLC first. At this point, the tag values are displayed on C. Only the string is not displayed yet. I will change the length of the string to 4. and add four tags starting from D100. Set values for the string tags. Run the runtime and check the results. The string tag values are now displayed on C. The lesson ends here. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.